So, woo, hello. We just came in here and uh, just finished giving the doves a new, a new roof. Completely covered, not 100% perfect, but hey, it's enough. Boy, you just like flying, don't you, girl? Oh, there you go. I love seeing these things fly. Got to cut some weeds in here, though. Lots of weeds. Um, I cut them down. They use them for nesting, actually, which is kind of awesome. And as a matter of fact, speaking of nesting, this little girl right here. Ooh, hello. Oh, look at that. What do we have there? That egg's probably no good. But uh, this little girl's doing some nesting, too. And um, as you can see, I use coffee containers for uh, the little nest boxes. I used to use those wood things, but those are just, yeah, not good. And uh, where the hell did the white one go? I had two, oh, right there. There's a white one, it's a beautiful bird. And I love this one with the, hey, there you are, with the white and brown. She is just gorgeous. Look at her. Beautiful bird, for sure. Anyway, yeah. Having fun. Gonna do some more cleanup in here. The uh, rosemary is going crazy in the corner. This actually used to be my wife's herb garden, but that was moved. And the dove enclosure was made. And uh, yeah, good times. Good times. Um, this is eggshells. Very similar to the oyster shells that normal people that aren't weird like me give them during their uh, breeding season. Um, funny thing is though, is uh, you know these eggshells, these are like 100% produced here. We uh, eat the eggs that our chickens produce and then crush the shells up and give them to the doves. Now one of the reasons I've been working on this roof, you can see that one cooin right there. If she'll let me get close. Look at that wound right in the back of her head. His head, I'm sorry, I believe it's a male. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what's doing that, but I'm finding little wounds. That one's got one. The white one has one on the other side of her head. Come on, baby. Can I see it? No? Maybe you can see it while she's in flight. <laughs> <laughs> she won't hold still. There it is. You see, it's healing up nicely. This one's healing a little slower, but, uh, ow, just bumped my head on this stupid beam. Um, anyway, that's one of the reasons we're uh, fortifying today. Um, any of you that have followed me for some time now know that I had some big issues. I started out the uh, last year at this time, I had 21 birds, and now I've got nine. Something just massacred all of them. And I actually put right there, don't do this at home, kids, because this is not the way to install an outdoor light. But I put a little motion light right outside there. That went really far to helping with whatever was going after them. But uh, clearly, as you can see, by this guy here trying to uh, woo the little girl there, that there's still something getting in here and getting them. Um, big predators are taken care of. Small is still what I'm working on now. I think, I honestly think those are rats because I've had issues with rats taking the eggs so I think it's rats causing those injuries but uh yeah we're dealing with it good times anyway four minutes that's long enough you're probably not even watching anymore uh see ya